Thank you for watching the Finance and Affirmations podcast. I appreciate you being here. Make sure you click the subscribe button so you'll be alerted when I post new content. Enjoy the episode. Hello, Finance and Affirmations family. I wanted to take some time to make some reflections about 2023. I wanted to bring back to your mind a calming practice that I have used. It calls for us to breathe, get quiet, reflect, and reset. I've spoken about this calming practice on episodes 27, 29, 36, 53, 63, and 69. On episode 69, I started the year with that calming practice and some of the goals that I had had for 2023. I listed my top affirmations of 2022 and the three things that I would be focused on this year. I want to share my accomplishments with you. A new website was created in January and it continues to evolve as my business grows. I created virtual financial literacy classes. I created a financial basics bundle that can be purchased on my website. There are also some freebies on the website along with a premium budget spreadsheet offering. I got more clarity on what I wanted this business to be and started walking in the power of that conviction. I have continued to use the services of a life and business coach which has allowed my business to grow in new ways and in record time. I now have a life, health, and annuities license and can incorporate that knowledge into my financial literacy courses and offer those products to my clients. I have partnered with a few great organizations to offer financial literacy courses and curriculums in the community. I have created a solid framework that I teach from. I have a few things pending that I'm excited about. It has been a great business year. There are still things that I'm working on and organizing, but I like my progress. There are some things that I have let go of for now, like my merch. I'll pick that back up at another time. I have really grown as it relates to my self-development, self-care, and meditation practices. I have studied and experienced several different meditation practices this year, and I am proud to say all of them have been similar and included the steps of the calming practice that dropped in my spirit in 2021. I have been able to incorporate more tools in my personal toolbox and I am grateful and excited to see where that takes me. Today, I received a letter from my Future Me account that I wrote to myself six months ago. Part of the letter describes the realization that I can be impatient as it comes to my business and personal development. Many of the things that I said I was waiting for in that letter have manifested. It was such a blessing to receive that letter and to see my progress. And I will craft a new letter today that I will receive six months from now. Last year, I offered the affirmation that stayed with me the entire year. Go back and listen to episode 69 to hear that affirmation and my top three affirmations from 2022. The affirmation that has stayed with me throughout 2023 is a quote from Audrey Lord. It says, when I dare to be powerful, to use my strength in the service of my vision, then it becomes less and less important whether I am afraid. This has meant so much to me this year. Pressing past my fear, doing things scared, and achieving goals that I was too fearful to even go after before. This has truly guided my path this year, and I have made some significant discoveries about myself as a result. The three affirmations that have been the most meaningful to me in 2023 are, number one, 
Fear is unnecessary. Number two, I reject any energy that is contrary to the infinite power that is within me. And number three, I am calm, conscious, and confident in my daily life. As I close down 2023, I am so grateful for the highs and the lows and all the experiences that have brought me closer to myself. I would love to hear your wins of 2023 and how you have handled the challenges. You can reach me at info at financeandaffirmations.com. If this podcast has helped or inspired you in any way, I would love to hear about that. Go to my website at www.financeandaffirmations.com and leave me a testimonial. As I close out 2023, I'm excited to see what 2024 has to offer. I hope you enjoyed watching the Finance and Affirmations podcast. If you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button. Until next time, blessings.